Artificial intelligence, or AI, it is said by many, will be man's last invention. Why? Because AI is more than just hardware and software. AI will allow machines to learn. This machine learning will allow programs to make decisions and to think on their own. They'll be able to iterate themselves through trial and error to perfection. Eventually, they'll be able to think in a way that could surpass the capabilities of any human being. So it may be the last invention because these machines may just be able to make much better versions of themselves than we could. And in turn, they could become the next innovators and inventors of new technologies. But there's a shockingly small number of companies that are poised to dominate this potentially huge industry. Only nine. In my view, these are the companies that you should either try to work for, associate yourself with, or invest in. Who are they and what are they working on? That's coming up right now. The future of AI is being shaped by just nine companies. This could be good or it could be scary. Good because these companies can potentially all agree on certain technology standards and set safety regulations so that potential harm due to AI is minimized. Scary because it means that these few companies have the potential to become the dominant overlords of human society in the not too distant future. These companies dominate because they are the ones that have nearly all the patents, are creating most of the software, setting the industry standards, have the university partnerships, are attracting the best talent and pouring the most money into it. And here they are in alphabetical order. Alibaba, they're the third largest e-commerce company in the world. They're investing $15 billion in global research labs in multiple countries dedicated to AI innovations. This is smart because it'll allow them to take advantage of AI talent all over the world. One example of their AI innovation is their newest chatbot, which can understand human emotions and respond accordingly, including alerting service reps to intervene. They have 200 AI-powered robots in automated warehouses that process 1 million shipments per day. And they've expanded that by creating AI robots in the hospitality sector that can deliver meals and laundry to guests. Amazon is the largest e-commerce company in the world with $180 billion in revenue and over half a million employees. You're probably already familiar with Alexa, its intelligent voice assistant, AI robot, that is a part of many homes around the world. Amazon has expanded this technology to something called Alexa Lex, Alexa Poly, and Amazon Recognition. These technologies are involved in text-to-speech conversion and face recognition using artificial intelligence. In addition, Amazon is working on AI-powered self-guided drones that can deliver products weighing as much as an unbelievable one ton. Machine learning is already part of their core shopping platform at Amazon. They use it to determine product search rankings, recommendations, and ad placement. The most familiar AI application from Apple is their Siri voice assistant, available to millions of iPhone users around the world. But Apple is going far beyond that. They recently hired Google's chief of search and artificial intelligence, John Gianandrea, to run its machine learning and AI strategy. He's now even part of Apple's executive board, which shows you how much Apple values his role. They've invested in a range of AI startups, including Emotient, which produces facial recognition technology, Vocal IQ, which provides a platform for voice interfaces, and Silk Labs, which makes AI software for consumer devices. Apple hopes to gain an edge on its rivals through a focus on protecting user data as well as using their enormous existing data to create new applications. Apple CEO Tim Cook announced that they will be investing $10 billion building data centers just in the US. These data centers are gonna power their AI technologies. Chinese tech company Baidu is the largest provider of Chinese language internet search as well as other digital products and services. They're arguably the most advanced AI company in China. To give you an idea of how they emphasize AI, they use facial recognition technology in their main offices instead of the typical company ID cards. If you work for Baidu, you can even order tea from a vending machine using your face. 
They have a voice assistant called Doer OS that has accumulated more conversation-based skill sets than Alexa, Siri, or Cortana. Being a Chinese company gives them at least two advantages over US companies. First, a native population of nearly 1.4 billion people, roughly four times that of the United States, gives Baidu a lot more data to work with, potentially. Second, China itself has publicly set the goal of being the world's leader in AI by 2030, and the Chinese government subsidizes national priorities. So plenty of free money is potentially available to companies like Baidu, whereas AI is not currently a priority for the US or UK administrations. You might say Facebook has been forced to be a player in AI, with 2.3 billion regular users monthly, about one third of all humanity, it is impossible to have every post and image reviewed by humans. And it would be a little scary for its users too, so they're using deep learning software to monitor their content. Mike Schrofer, the company's chief technology officer, says that technology is the only way to prevent bad actors from taking advantage of their service. Facebook's AI software not only monitors their content, but it also chooses the content that appears in the Facebook newsfeed. It automatically tags photos, and also powers their ad targeting software that makes Facebook billions of dollars a year. It can even flag what it considers fake news. Machine learning becomes more intelligent in proportion to the amount of data it has to work with. Guess which company has access to some of the most valuable data in the world from 2.3 billion monthly users? You got it, Facebook. Google has arguably been the most aggressive company in the world on AI research, creating everything from self-driving cars to software that can recognize cats. They are so serious about dominating this space that they're even developing their own line of machine learning chips. AI plays a central role in Google's strategy for future growth under CEO Sundar Pichai, who said, in the long run, we're evolving and computing from an AI-first world. Google bought DeepMind in 2014, which is an AI startup. DeepMind has since been used to defeat champion players of the board game Go, which at one time was considered impossible to do by a computer. But Google's biggest application of their AI technology is what powers the algorithm in its flagship search engine. This is one of the reasons everybody likes to use Google because it gives you the most relevant search results. These are just technologies we know about, but Google is reported to be working on some paradigm shifting technologies that they are taking great pains to keep from the world. So who knows what they'll come up with? Is it any wonder that Google's market valuation is nearly $1 trillion? IBM's most notable investment in AI is Watson, a deep learning program that can answer questions posed in natural language by extracting meaning from photos, videos, text, and speech. Watson was popularly introduced to the world on the US game show Jeopardy, where it handily beat two of its all-time best human players. IBM has had a long partnership with MIT and are investing $240 million over 10 years in Watson alone. The technology behind Watson has gained traction in industries from insurance to healthcare, and there are probably lots of other applications where it could be used and IBM is trying to exploit it. Microsoft has been on an AI shopping spree, buying five companies built on AI technology in 2018 alone. In addition, they have launched venture capital fund called Microsoft Ventures dedicated to fund AI startups. Current applications of AI at Microsoft are used to power chatbots in Skype, which Microsoft owns, analyze data in Office 365, build apps in Azure, support interaction with Cortana, and to power its search results in Bing, similar to the way Google does it. Microsoft has elite talent and some of the best programmers in the world, and they are not afraid to focus this talent on artificial intelligence research. Tencent is a Chinese holding company involved in internet technology and AI. They are the company behind the WeChat app, China's biggest social media platform. In addition, they have substantial businesses in messaging, payments, video, mail, and social media. There's no similar US company. They claim that over 100 Tencent products, including WeChat and QQ, their instant messaging app, use AI technologies. Like Baidu, they have some advantages being a Chinese company, but the main advantage that they have is that their many popular platforms give it access to a huge amount of data, 
and ways to test that data and implement AI software in a country where fewer consumer privacy protections exist. The company believes there will be huge applications tomorrow that are impossible to envision today. So they're hedging their bets by putting investment in many areas of AI. What do you think? Let me know if you think I missed a company and if you work for any of these companies, I would love to hear your perspective. I'll see you in the comments below. All the best, my friends. Arvin Ash here. If you like our videos, please support us by subscribing. Subscribing costs you nothing. It just means that you're going to be informed whenever we put up a new video. We make about one to two videos a week. We'll see you in the next video.